God damn. You got to be a stupid motherfucker to get fired on your day off. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Friday is a movie about the day in the life between two friends, Craig and Smokey. And of course you may have already known that. But are you able to tell me who this actress is here? Yes, at this point she's very young, she's wearing a baseball cap and suspenders. If you're not certain who she is, stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll reveal her name. Hello Movie Maniacs and welcome back to another episode of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you 10 of the mistakes that we found in the cult classic Friday. And as usual we got to give out a spoiler alert. But seeing as how the movie came out in 1995, if you haven't seen it yet, which is 25 years ago, um, that's your bad. Also, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bells now. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. You shall not pass! For mistake number one, we got Craig in the kitchen trying to get some cereal for his morning breakfast. Nothing unusual about that, except for the fact that when he grabs the milk, he sits down at the table and notices that there is no milk or little, very, very little milk in the container. Now we are calling this a mistake because when he grabs the milk out of the refrigerator, how did he not know there was almost no milk in the container? I'm about to do to you what Limp Bizkit did to music in the late 90s. Yeah. Time for a bonus. When Craig goes to the kitchen to pick up the phone, it's his girlfriend on the other line. Do you see anything weird about what's in this picture? Most people didn't notice it at first either. But while she is questioning her boyfriend about where he was last night, notice that there is a gentleman sleeping in the bed next to her. It's kind of funny that she would be questioning him about hooking up with some other girls when the fact that she has a guy, half naked, top half anyway, laying in her bed. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So for mistake number two, Craig goes to his room to get ready for the day. So just as he does that, notice that the curtain is already begin to fall. No one's there, correct? But just a second or two later, Smokey pokes his head through the window. Break yourself, fool! Look what you did to my curtain! So my question is, exactly how Crane can be mad at Smokey, considering that the curtain was already fallen before he got there? Yep, Friday mistake number two. You... complete. So for this mistake, Craig and Smoke are chasing after Chris for knocking over trash cans. Take note that there is nothing in front of Chris, no cars or anything. But as the two hit the streets chasing Chris down, notice that there is a shadow on his right hand. We did some digging around and turns out it's from the cameraman. So for this part of the movie, we get to meet Debo making his rounds. So we're going to pause the video here to show you just before Debo arrives to Craig's driveway. So we're going to start the timer to see how long it takes Smokey and Craig to take off all the jewelry, hide it, and then for Debo to actually make it to the driveway to where they can actually see Sm Smokey and Craig. So as you can see here, it took Craig and Smoke about 12 seconds to get ready for Debo to hit the driveway. And right here in the frame where we paused it is right about the point where Debo can see both of them. So how exactly did it take Debo 12 seconds to go from this point to this point? Let us know in the comment section below what you think. something never do it for free so coming into mistake number five there's not a lot that we know about Craig I think we can probably all safely assume that he has never been married so if we all agree collectively that Craig has probably never been married take a look at his ring finger 
Do you see something there? So in case you didn't know, Ice Cube has been married to his wife Kimberly since 1992. That is three years before the making of this movie. Craig. Bye Felicia. So in this part of the movie, Craig and Smokey are sitting on Craig's front steps. And what is this? The neighbors across the street are having some sort of dispute. The wife comes running out and the husband right behind her. So just after he throws the clothes onto the lawn, he heads back into the house. And take a mental note of the position of the clothes that are on the lawn. But here we fast forward the film as we get to the next part of the mistake and notice that the clothes have changed positions. No, Ezel didn't run over and steal the clothes just yet. That doesn't happen until later on. See what I mean? So just as Ezel starts to back up, we can now see that there's something pink on the lawn that wasn't there earlier. Dear Lord baby Jesus, what does our brothers to the south call you? Hey Zeus. So toward the end of the movie, Smoke and Craig are running for their lives. Here we can see Smokey jump on the roof and Craig throws the gun up to him. Nothing unusual about that, but as you can see here, Smoke puts the gun down and picks up a different gun for some reason. Now, why there was a different gun on top of the roof? Why was it not the gun that Craig threw up to him? Your guess is as good as mine. So in the climax of the movie, Craig is fighting Debo. During the contest, Craig hits him over the back with a 2x4 as you can see here. So just as he hits him, Craig drops the 2x4 and yet again, he has it back in his hands when the camera switches angles. So for the knife mistake in the movie Friday, Debo has Craig in a sleeper hole. But if you look closely in the background, you can see that Stanley is standing next to Craig's sister. But as the camera angle switches, we can now see that Stanley has teleported over to the dad for some reason. Obviously, he's trying to hold Craig's dad back, but still, he wasn't standing there before. So the fight is over, and everyone is about to live happily ever after. Except for Debo, of course. Notice that his feet are hanging off of the bricks, here. But after one of the guy takes his chain back, notice that Debo is further on Stanley's lawn than he was before. I'm about to do to you what Limp Bizkit did to music in the late 90s. Dad? So tell me, were you able to figure out who the little girl in the blue baseball hat and the overalls was? Well, if you're a fan of movies like we are, you'll know that that was none other than Megan Good. She was a star in such movies as Shazam, Think Like a Man, Saw Number no. 5, and Jumping the Broom. But I think we should kick this guy's butt like really hard. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you were here? So I'm curious, what did you think of the movie Friday? I know I actually thought it was amazing but I'd like to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And as usual, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We promise we will keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. We promise. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Movie Mistakes, and we'll see you next time. You got knocked the fuck out!